Skinny Facades with Revit, Part 3, Drilling Patterns and Panel Lists. You can use tools on Stinny Ribbon tab to add information on each panel. Panels already contain information concerning colour and material. To add geometry related information to panels, use Position Panels function. Position Panels gives values to parameter Stinny Panel Number so that panels having same geometry will have same number. Place drilling patterns function adds drilling codes and screw objects on panels. You can add drilling patterns on selected selected panels or on all panels on selected walls. Select Create Physical Objects if you want to have screw objects in your model. Define Barge Orientation. In this project, we have horizontal panels. You can also define, do you want to have drilling on wall and opening edges of panels? Next, select walls or panels to which you want to add drilling patterns. You can select one or multiple elements. Select OK to create drilling patterns. With special shape panels, you can add drilling code manually. As a default, drilling pattern for those panels will be CV00. Other panels have now got drilling pattern based on the selections made and the material of panel. Also, physical objects for drilling have been created. That option was selected in Drilling Pattern Definition window. Objects are generic models and can be hidden from the view with basic Revit visibility functions. If you select one panel now, you can see that some parameters have got new values. To create lists suitable for ordering panels, use Update Panel Lists to create Revit schedules containing panel data. A schedule is created for each material used on panels in the current project. Schedule shows numbers of panels having the same combination of geometry, drilling code and material. These panel schedules can be exported to Excel with Export to Excel on the Stinny Ribbon tab. Navigate to Suitable Folder and select Export. Excel report can be used in ordering Stinny panels.